Oh, nasty impact. Andre the Giant is capable of leaving carnage in the ring. Just look at the eighth wonder of the world's 15-year undefeated streak for proof. Guys, unless there's some sort of minor miracle that takes place here, we're about to witness a complete massacre. No matter what, it is impossible to escape the intimidating aura of the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Now, you and I can't dispute that, Saxon. There is no greater force than the seven foot four, 500 pound giant. Set him up, Russian leg sweep. Throughout WWE's more than 54-year history, there's one superstar who raises their game even higher in a handicap match. It's the superstar with the motto, one versus all, and that's the big dog, Roman Reigns. On the February 20th, 2017 episode of Monday Night Raw, we saw Reigns accept the handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions, Anderson and Gallows. That night on Raw, Roman Reigns was determined to take down Anderson and Gallows. What I found more impressive than taking Anderson and Gallows on was that Reigns did so right before he squared off against Braun Strowman at Fastlane. The big dog never rests. Roman Reigns is happy to take on anyone who thinks the WWE ring is their yard. Look, I'll never dismiss the power, determination, and ability of Roman Reigns. I've been in the ring with the man. The match ended because Roman took it upon himself to attack Anderson and Gallows with a steel chair which in my mind was done without just cause and is something I don't condone. Andre the Giant had an appreciation for fine cuisine like a five-star Michelin-rated chef and knowledge of wines from all over the world that would rival the most sophisticated wine enthusiast. There were also stories of Andre eating 16 steaks and 12 lobster tails in a single sitting of dinner. WWE Hall of Famer Pat Patterson tells incredible stories of Andre the Giant going from restaurant to restaurant while on the road, enjoying an amazing range of cuisines and wines from one end of the world to the other. The eighth wonder of the world was known as a connoisseur of the finer things in life, and even owned a restaurant at one point in the historic Canadian city of Montreal. Andre the Giant did it all, and then so. The only strategy I think makes any sense when you go up against Andre the Giant is to utilize the classic boxing technique of stick and move. Land a shot on the big man, then move. Land another shot, then move again. Oh, the sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. Oh, the sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. It's Andre the Giant on the defensive now. Coming up with a plan to go up against the enormous Andre the Giant is literally a superstar's biggest challenge. Corey, the idea you mentioned earlier of trying to stick and move might be the best approach. Both of you have mentioned the stick and move technique as the best way to battle Andre the Giant, and I agree with you, but let's face it, it could be the only way to beat Andre the Giant. Oh, the sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. Oh, the sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. In 1993, a touching video tribute on the career of Andre the Giant aired across all of WWE television programs. That footage was the way WWE announced the creation of its Hall of Fame. And its first inductee was none other than the eighth one. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Yeah, he's got some magic work, and that's for sure. When WWE announced that it created a Hall of Fame, it was fitting that its largest superstar and one of its most beloved figures would be the first to be inducted. There's no one in our business like Andre the Giant. Talk about a giant announcement. No way to let the world know that there will be a dunk. Arm is grapevine. Trying to step through. Uh, Here it comes. Ah, oh, this is devastating. Single leg Boston Crab. He's looking good now, guys. Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Color me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. He's too quick for him there. And the instinct from the Giant on display.
Hooked him. Not so fast. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Got it. Like that sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. Oh boy, he is rolling. He gets it with a reversal. This could... Oh, what a right hand! This is his opportunity to win this thing. He may get the three count right there. Two! I don't know too many other guys that would have been able to kick out of that. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Oh, my lord. Oh, what a hook. He might have it. Could be something here. Oh, what impact. Are we really going to see Andre Luke getting it done? Oh, boy, he is rolling. Here he goes. Oh, the button. That's how you put it. He can end it here. One! Andre the Giant gets the shoulder up. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. A handicap match is the type of match where a superstar or superstars square off against respective opponents. And one... Oh. <laughs> Are we really going to see Andre lose here? Things just went from bad. Look at this. One, two, three! The pinfall and the victory. How about another look at some of the highlights? Here are your winners. Ramon Ray, the superstar, the superstar. And the shoulders are down for three, and this one's in the books. I think we're all glad this match came to a close without any of these guys having to go to a local medical facility. It looked like that might have been the case here for a while. Columbus has played host to some.